What's going on gamblers? Today I'm going to transform my 1985 Toyota 4x4 pickup into a Gambler 500 recovery rig. First thing I did was say screw decent handling and good gas mileage and took off these 33 inch all-terrain tires on the OEM wheels. And in place of those all-terrains we have a 35 by 12 and a half inch Mud Country tires and hopefully that's going to help us get unstuck of any sticky situations we get ourselves into as well as save some fellow gamblers. Now if you remember last year, the Wheelmobile was a little cramped inside for sleeping as far as the seats not reclining and uh, all of our cargo in the bed got pretty wet when it rained. So I picked up this used truck cap for 60 bucks. Need a little bit of work, but uh, now we are gonna sleep like kings. And now I'm gonna cross a childhood dream off my bucket list. The year was 1990. Desk controller in hand, my eyes glued to a 19 inch Zenith color TV playing Nintendo's Super Off Road. As much as I can appreciate 8 bit graphics of the era, none of the trucks in the game actually looked like Ivan Stewart's Toyota from the cover. To a kid that wants to drive a truck just like Ivan Stewart's, that's kind of a letdown. Fast forward to 28 years later, I now own a real 1985 Toyota pickup 4x4 that can go just about anywhere I want. For the Detroit Gambler 500, I'm going to make it into an Ivan Iron Man Stewart Toyota clone. I started with a fresh coat of white spray paint on an old hood and fenders from a rusty parts truck. I don't have an extra set of doors, so I'm using a removable aerosol paint called Custom Wrap to paint them and part of the bed white. And here she is, ready for the Detroit Gambler 500 this weekend. We'll be uploading videos of our adventure again this year, so check back. We'll see you there.